Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I keep my hair so moisturized. I've been posting some photos on my Instagram and I've been getting a lot of questions about it. It's kind of always like a variation depending on what style I'm planning on putting my hair in. But I'm gonna show you what I've been doing specifically when I wear my curly wash and go look. This is what I usually do to get that. I usually get the most, how do you moisturize your hair questions when I post that photo. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I usually do this in the shower, but I felt like not being in the shower today. <laughs> if you've watched my video, you know that I like to wash my hair in sections and just work section by section, which is why my hair is like this right now. And the reason I usually do this in the shower is because it's just easier for me when my hair is soaking wet to get all the products on and have my curls obey what I want them to do because my hair naturally is very thick, like kinky, coily. Um, once it dries, that's a wrap. So the wetter my hair is, the more I'm able to manipulate it. So after washing and conditioning my hair, the next step is to spray it down with aloe vera juice. And this has been in and out of my regimen for probably at least seven years. I just stop doing it sometimes because I get bored or I just run out of the juice and I don't go back to the store to get it. But I've been really making an effort to use this more often, specifically after I had all my scalp issues, which is why I love the aloe vera pre so much too. Aloe vera is amazing for your scalp and for your hair if you have any type of scalp issues. So I just take it and don't mind my spray bottle. This is what happens when you try and disinfect with boiling water. Yeah. So I'm just spraying down my scalp first just to get that on there. Aloe vera is amazing for your scalp. It's healing, soothing. It's gonna help to relieve any itching, drying, scaling, anything like that. And it balances the pH. And I had the best hair growth when I was using it consistently. So it's back again. And then next is I add a leave-in. Now I used to use the Soft and As Can Be Main Choice 3-in-1, which I still love. It's just a little bit heavy. I've been kind of wanting more light, bouncier hair lately. So I've actually switched to the As I Am Long and Lux Grow Yogurt, which is amazing i mean they're both awesome and i do i have tons of these i use them interchangeably you can use either one it's just if you have the options so after my aloe juice i'm applying this leave-in and you can use any leave-in you want to work it into your ends because your ends are the oldest obvi the ingredients are also going to help keep your hair moisturized on top of the moisture that you manually added which would be the water and the aloe vera juice. Now once I've locked all that in with the leave-in, I'm going to seal everything in using my DIY oil mixture. A very tiny amount. You don't want an oily head. You just want to seal the moisture in. I'm gonna put links for everything I'm using in the description box for you. Now that I'm putting the oil on, I'm realizing I probably don't wanna mess up my shirt. Mm-hmm, okay, so we're gonna put a towel down. Again, I told you I usually do this in the shower. You don't have to worry about your clothes when you're in the shower. So working in that oil, then once that feels pretty good, I just twist everything up. I twist all the way down to the bottom, and that's it. Super juicy twists, nice and moisturized. So on the other side, again, taking out the hair, I'm going to heal my scalp, balance the pH of my hair and my scalp using aloe vera juice, which creates a healthy environment for hair growth and helps keep your hair strong and moisturized. I lock all the moisture in using a leave-in conditioner, a creamy leave-in conditioner. There's different types of leave-in conditioners. I don't like the watery types. If you have hair that's like mine, which you probably do if you're watching this, go for something that's creamy. That's gonna hold the moisture in for longer. And I worked that in, focusing it on my ends and working up. And then you're gonna lock in all the moisture with an oil. Now this is my DIY hair oil. It's a mixture of both moisturizing and sealing oils. So this is gonna help not only moisturize my hair, but also lock in all the moisture from the water, the aloe juice, and the creamy leave-in conditioner. If you don't have access to like making a mixture of oils, you can just use one oil, whatever you have in your house. Just grab some olive oil from the kitchen. After all of that is worked in, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist up my hair. So twisting up the hair is gonna stretch my curls. It also helps to lock in that moisture. And because I'm exercising a lot, this is how my hair is going to remain for those days when I exercise. All right, so this is what we're looking like now. Two juicy moisturized twists. All right, so that's it. That's my entire moisturizing hair routine. Of course, I do like a different variation of this depending on what style I'm going for. This is just kind of my look that you guys usually see um, on Instagram and in videos. That's actually not a wash and go. That's a wet twist out because I'll usually do my hair like this and then once it dries, just take it out and it looks like a natural wash and go, which is, I call it my winter wash and go. But anyway, some information that's probably important is that if you guys didn't notice, I only put aloe juice on my scalp 
You can put oils on your scalp as long as they're moisturizing oils that are absorbed into your skin and hair. You don't want to put like a sealing oil or anything like that. You definitely don't want to put leave-in conditioners or conditioners or anything like that on your scalp because it will clog your pores and make situations worse. Aloe vera juice on your scalp, always a good idea. So again, this is how I will usually be wearing my hair. If you ever run into me on the street and it's not at an event, <laughs> It's just the normal everyday. This is probably what you will see me looking like. I usually will have it like up in a bun or something like that, but I want it to dry out. And it's really great because as long as I keep my hair in twists, the moisture will stay in my hair. So when you see those pictures on Instagram or you see my hair in that style on my videos, I usually just took it out that day or within a couple of days. After about three days, the moisture will start to evaporate and my hair is going to dry out. So as long as you keep your hair in the twists, your hair will stay moisturized. I can keep my hair in these twists for like five days and the moisture will still be there if I decide to untwist it. It's just as soon as you untwist your hair, the moisture is going to leave. So if you want the moisture to stay, keep the twists in. Another tip that's really great too is if you're planning to keep your twists in longer term is you can always increase the sealant and put on a heavy butter like my shea butter mango butter creams and i'll put those diys in the description box so instead of doing the aloe juice followed by a leave-in conditioner followed by your oils followed by a heavy heavy butter cream and that's gonna increase the sealant qualities and it's going to make the moisture stay in your hair even longer the more butter and heavier stuff you put on your product the more weight you're gonna have so just keep that in mind i usually like the weight especially for twist outs it gives me a little bit more hang time but I don't know. I've been liking my wash and go looks to be fluffy and bouncy lately. So we're going to just leave that out. So anyway, I think that's it. This is my basic moisture routine. Again, I usually do this in the shower. It's just really fast and easy and all this mess here you don't have. So I hope that it helps. I hope you guys give it a try. It's just layering on your lighter moisturizers to heavier sealants in order to lock the moisture into your hair. So give it a try. Again, I'm going to have all of the products that I used in the description box below. I hope it helped and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.